Village the Cursling, a devout follower of the Changer of Ways, has been waging a bitter campaign rounding up Norsken tribes as his personal entourage and meat shield to break the bulk of the North. What do you mean he's creepy? No, he's not. He's beautiful. Uh, he's a bit creepy. Uh, look at the arm. Ooh. You join us on turn 50, where Village has caused just, just the right amount of human suffering to push into Kislev's bountiful lands. But the Twisted Twin is not the only one who has their eyes set on the Kislevites' plump and tasty souls. Oh, those cheeky beggars. The forces of Festus have been laying in wait for fresh souls to dedicate to Grandfather Nurgle. Nothing sweeter than harvesting the souls of a rival's army. Patrons of Pestilence were unprepared for the presents each had provided our pitiless pack. That was a mouthful. Now nothing stands between us and the souls of man. But the Kislevite forces are not going to simply roll over. Gostoutin of the Great Orthodoxy is pushing his armies into the land of our Norsecan vassals. Fortunately, Hargroff Soul Shredder, that's quite the name, one of the village's trusted lieutenants knows how to deal with pathetic zealots. Oh, oh, oh look at that one. Armoured Kassars are nothing before the burning breath of a Chaos Dragon. Grouped up units are a great target for the penumbral pendulum. Uh, silly weak humans didn't stand a chance against the might displayed by the forces of Chaos. The souls claimed by Hargroff's Soul Shredder has even impressed the Chaos Gods themselves, which, in all honesty, isn't too hard to do. As a lord or hero dedicates themselves to Chaos, they walk the path to glory. As they accomplish various tasks, the gods themselves will grant their servants boons. Each lord and hero will have their own unique task from the Dark Brothers to accomplish in order to gain their prize. Great champions of Chaos can even be granted the Mark of Chaos. The Mark of Chaos will inspire a lord or hero to become their best selves and hit the gym, where they'll fully devote their meaty mortal lives to their patron Chaos God. If they lift hard enough, they'll even ascend to demonhood as a direct servant of one of the gods, or to Chaos Undivided. But a Jimbro demon comes at a cost. Granting a lord or hero the mark of chaos will half their rank and reset their skills to be chosen again. Worry not, through vigorous research one may find ways to mitigate such penalties. Now go, Kersling. Lead your armies towards the destruction of Kislev. Soul Shredder's brand new wings easily carry him over the enemy's barricades to attack the back lines. And his ascension gives him access to fun new toys, like Blue Fire of Zeech. Our network of rifts lets reinforcements from the north get straight to the front lines. Is that all you've got, Kostoutin? Unstoppable fight! Kill! Bang! Burn! Looks like the exalted hero and his manticore are eager to kill some fanatics. Get him, boys. We'll send our Chaos Knights around to the side to capture the main point. Ending death! That is such a nicely organised group of Corsairs to drop Zeech's Firestorm on top of. Oh, 
The orthodoxy is destroyed. Bet they didn't see that coming. But the armies of the Ice Queen prove as tough as the land they inhabit. It would be a shame if something changed that. Using the changing of the ways, we can break the spirits of weak-minded mortals, allowing us to catch them on the retreat. I was a weak-minded mortal once. Still am. Our research into Zichian magics has allowed us to influence the relationship of these mortal empires. A rumour here, a bit of name-calling there, a gaggle of gossiping demons later, and old friends become strangers. Kislev stands alone. Ice Queen, more like... A Loner Queen. I'm sorry, cat. it's time to die. Ice cracks and stone crumbles as villagers' armies descend on the final stronghold of the once mighty Kislev. Their souls are naught but a delicious morsel, a great offering to the architect of fate. It is not enough. As long as there are still mortal souls to claim our job is never done. To the south, the lands of the Empire are home to many, but as we step into the forests of Ostermark, what we see are not the sprawling cities that we are expecting. Someone else got here before us. <laughs>